Hey everyone, it's Danielle Taylor with Keller Williams Realty here on the Outer Banks. And, <clears throat> wow, got a frog in my throat. Um, it's Stats Day! Woo! Thanks, Jody. <laughs> um, and we also have Bodie the Beach Cat, so, you know, she's here for today because it's Stats Day and she loves to be on Stats Day. Um, just a quick More like Cats Day. Hey, but um bum. Um, so just remember if you want to see a full version of this exactly when it comes out because I will admit that we actually published this newsletter about 10 to 14 days ago I guess um, so I'm a little remiss at getting this out so if you want it the minute we post it um, go ahead and click the link below and make sure you subscribe and then you'll get the paper version immediately I always cover a few topics in this that aren't in the paper but overall you'll get the, the general stuff immediately um, another reminder that all of these stats are courtesy of the Outer Banks Association of Realtors and that time frame is through February 28th, 2022. Okay, so let's dive in. So first off, we always talk about residential sales units and for year to date ended February, those are down about 18% um, over 2021. So our units are down. We've been seeing that as a trend. I don't think anyone's super surprised. Um, on the flip side, the trend that we've been seeing continues. So although our units are down by 18, our residential sales volume is actually up almost 15%. And now we're just shy of 303 million. So units down, volume up, that means prices are up, right? Easy, easy answer there. Um, interesting thing that I saw when I was looking at the data is that the fe uh, February single family sales units are actually the lowest that they have been since May <clears throat> of 2020. And we all know what was happening in May of 2020, right? We had the bridge closure. We were basically shut down on the Outer Banks from approximately March through May. Um, so our um, sales units for single family in February were the lowest level since then. So um, that just is talking to the inventory and that's what it leads into next, that tight inventory level, which continues um, February 2022 over February 2021 saw a 36% reduction in inventory. Available homes to sell was down 36%. And a 22% reduction February over February on new listing inventory. So the number of new listings coming on every month. Um, it's interesting to note though, and I, I, I actually feel a little encouraged by this stat, that January new listings over February new listings are flat. So they didn't go down again. So we're, we saw 321, I believe it was, um, new properties come on the market in January and the same number came on in February. So I feel like over the first few weeks of March, I have seen more properties come on the market. I don't have the stats yet for March to say that that's true. But if we flatline Jan to Feb, there's a, a good chance maybe we'll start to see a little bit of, of additional inventory come in March. So that could be a good sign for getting a little more choice for our clients. Um, but make no mistakes, inventory is still incredibly low. We're in the three to four week range in most towns um, and the solds are still historically high. So um, the inventory is still moving through fast. Our days on market year to date is 42 on average versus year to date last year, we were sitting at about 82. So we're selling in about half the time. So this new inventory is still churning. Um, sales prices, you know, we talked about units being down, but volume being up. The median year to date sale price for single family residential is 590,000 and that is up over 34% over 2021. So pretty big change. Um, <clears throat> going forward, really what I'm watching is any potential impacts from interest rates. So I'm not sure if you've been paying attention to it, but we're now seeing those over 4%. So it'll be interesting to watch those um, and to start to watch who's participating in the market because I think that may cause a little bit of a shift. I think my biggest takeaway right now, and again, I need March's data to give you some specifics as to why this is the case, but I really have a feeling like things are, are stabilizing, I guess is the best word I can give you. So starting to see um, maybe a little more of a plateau, um, 
not predicting we're going to see these huge increases in sales prices. Um, really starting to see that a sort of mellowing. So I by no means see the market going down, but a mellowing of the market where we're not seeing these crazy statistics and this continuous trend high. So we'll have to watch for that. Um, and I'll certainly be keeping a keen eye on that and sharing it with you once I have some better data. Um, last but not least, don't forget, I always like to talk specifics. Every house, every neighborhood, every street is slightly different. So if you have a property that you're interested in buying or selling in those areas, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you about it. Other than that, we will see you next time. Remember to subscribe.